first of all, is my philosophy is 80% content, 20% sales. And that could apply to 10 emails where eight of them are content and two of them are sales. Or it can apply to a single email where 80% of what you say is teaching them something or giving them some value or connecting with them emotionally or making them feel good about themselves. And 20% is I'm asking you to do something. I'm asking you to be on this webinar or whatever. So even when we do a webinar, I always try to say something that they can use or that they can feel that there was some value there. Uh, now, it doesn't always have to be like mm, – value that a bean counter would recognize. Like, I am going to teach you how to do something. Sometimes it's just reading them a page in their diary and letting them know that they're not alone, that other people experienced this too. Um, um, like, I, I, I've, got a, I've got a blog post called for against, which started out as an email, and we we put it on our blog, and we put it in social media. For against, and it talks about we're for these things and against these things, and for these things and against these things, and we're for the things that help entrepreneurs, and we're against the things that drag us down. and And um, one of the things it talks about is is this belief that a lot of people have that um, that business is just dividing up pies and people trying to take the most, and it takes it away from everybody else. And no, what we're about is baking new pies. And you can bake as many pies as you have the creativity to create. And, you know, entrepreneurs are constantly assaulted with this, this kind of belief in the culture that business is bad and that entrepreneurs are greedy. And, you know, my experience of entrepreneurs is not that they're greedy, in fact, sometimes they're not greedy enough. Like sometimes they're trying so hard to help people that they're not even making a profit and they're not realizing like it's okay. In fact, you know, Zig Ziglar uh, once said that your number one mission is not to help people. Your number one mission is to make a profit because unless you make a profit, you can't feed your family. And, you know, he's right. Um, and yeah, there are people that aren't trying to help people, but I don't think there's very many. I think entrepreneurs are very generous people. But what I was, was illustrating through that was that I make a deposits into the emotional bank account because I am really for my customer. Now, I know markets who are like, like, well, let's sell to people that believe in conspiracy theories because they'll buy stuff that costs a lot of money. And it's like this totally coldly calculated kind of thing. And I just can't do business that way. Like I, I really do love my customers. I love what they do. I respect what they do. And so, you know, make the deposit and you, you put things like that out and they go viral. Like the for against thing really did go viral. In fact, we're about to start using it again because some time has gone by. So, um, so if you make the deposit in the emotional bank account, you'll have a positive balance. And then when you want somebody to do something, they'll do it. Whereas the whole point of Stephen Covey is once you're bottomed out, you're done. Like they're not going to engage with you anymore. So uh, always build that relationship.